Welcome to Season 3 of the Jemaya's World Franchise. We have a couple of new coaches. We have, what was that first one? Chad Masters. This is Mike McCarthy. You had Andy, Andy Reid. Mike McCarthy, Mr. Tenninch. That's me. That's me. Ray Pugh. Yeah, that's my C-E-F-F-O. Mrs. Jemaya. What? What? In his house. That's Mojo Jojo. Ten Incher. Okay. All right. Judon Wandis. Judon Wandis. Okay. That's pretty good. Let's see who else is there. What do you, what do you got? Jim Schwartz. Okay, he's a regular guy. That's a guy that has like that's an itchy a guy asshole. Who, Dixie Normus. Yeah, he has like an itchy <laughs> asshole. All right, thank you. I like that one. Thank you very much. Fleece Johnson. Oh my god. That's the booty warrior right there. Hold on, I gotta take these pills right quick. Love big butts. All right, it's kind of subtle. Yo, he loves big butts. B-Y Electrify. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Coach Rahela. Rahila. Back to back. Okay, let me just take these pills. Go ahead. Tug on these nuts. Not AOKP blood clot. Oh. Dennis Allen. Mm -hmm. Chip Kelly. Mike Hunt. Mm. Oh, Mike Hunt. <laughs> I get it. The Village Taxi. Everybody gets a ride. Who's that? Poom Killer. Mm -hmm. Ross Clot. Mm -hmm. Raw Dog. We about to choke. <laughs> mm -hmm. Raw Dog. That's Venero. Jamel Bird. Is that? I don't get it. That's his real name. Oh. All right. Thank you. Uh, Coach Artie. Okay. Yeah, I had to take those pills. Sorry. Go ahead. That either. Go ahead. I got to take my multivitamins. You know what I'm saying? Keep the body big and strong. But go ahead. What's up now? Oh, I was Wait, saying. Right. I was. I was saying. Shout out to AOKP. That's Demetrius the um. Demetrius Turner. That's the tug on these nuts, dude. Rob Chudzinski. Chudzinski. That's I think, a real name. Yeah. Give, Give me, me the pussy. pussy. This was the guy that was running off in the mouth. Pussy. Yeah. Th this is Dread Headish. The guy that was running off in the mouth and got blown the fuck out by the Kansas City Chiefs. Dixon Cider. That's nice. I like that. I like that. I like that. that. I like that. I like Dixon that. Cider. I like that one right there. That one's good. Thomas Single. Tomas, maybe? Tomas Single? Thomas yeah, I don't Single? know. I don't know. Yummy Carrots. Yummy Carrots? What? All right. All right. I don't know. And Den Denga Lang. That, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's fucking Zane Denga Alexander. That, that's Zane Alexander. And then this guy, this guy's just new coach. But look, <laughs> um, you go take a look at these scores real quick. But I, just, I just wanted to say, I'm really proud of what this league has become. Mm -hmm. Because like this is just something I'm just a commissioner. These guys run their own league. You know what I'm saying? Yes. There's certain rules, and I really appreciate the fact that these guys are taking it within themselves. And I'm the they're taking it within themselves. No, right? no, no. That sounds inappropriate. But I'm just saying they're taking it upon themselves. Upon themselves. Got to it. control their own league. Yes. Like if a guy does something crazy. Damn, 56 to 10. Ooh, yeah, that? the dude's getting blown the fuck out like he's supposed to. But oh, you want some too? No, no, no. That, 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 that was a computer. FSO oh. Oh, just just joined. Oh, but oh, you want some too? Did oh, beat Dreadum. Oh, did beat Dreadum, and it's on my Twitter feed. I can't believe it. Uh, Potato Head can verify it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want some too? Beat Dreadum. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but this is a close game. This is crazy shit going on. But listen, the Who bottom line. This next the, game? the bottom line is, that is the this. Computer? Yeah, he played the computer. Oh, okay. Okay, but the bottom line is this though. I appreciate what these guys have been doing. You guys are governing your own league, and it's making it more appealing to other people. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the people that are not that that either left or whatever like that, they're gonna have to wait. But I think people are also having fun. Yeah, no, it is fun because you know. they don't gotta worry about a guy quitting. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? When I first started it, there was like people were like, "Yo, Gmai, there's no way you're gonna get dudes to not be able to not quit." Yo, dude, just getting blown the fuck out, but they rather not have me embarrass them. Yeah. And take the loss. Than to be like that other guy that, that rage quit his whole team and shit like that. Like, that's yeah. just that's just so little dickish. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Is. Like, these guys right here, these are these are my guys. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that's a part of this. And these, these are the guys that I, I'll stand and vouch for for the most part. For most of the guys in there. Some of them I don't really know like that. But the guys I do know, you know, the AOKPs, the VYs, Potato Head, of course. MP Mojo Jojo. Mo Lester. Um, <clears throat> what's that? Jingles. Oh, you want some too, of course. Like, guys like that. Those are my guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like not not saying that they, you know, like I'm down with. We have any kind of special cult, but they, they they're cool dudes. You know what I'm saying? My type of guys. Okay. They're not. And, and I just you said, appreciate. You said that's your type of guy. Like if you were into guys, they would be a type of guy. Yeah. If I if I was supposed to, you know, get into that type of thing. Yeah. I would. You know, cool dudes. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, but uh, here we go. You sweet, oh, Mr. G. My. Yo, this oh, guy. He's yo, talking I, that. I, I gotta give, I gotta give MP Mojo Jojo credit. Because I beat Does the he know fuck who out of Mojo him. Jojo is. He has to know who Mojo Jojo is from the Pop of Girls. This guy. They, these are young guys, right? Okay, yeah. Like, we're, we're all around the same era. It's not, like, we're not that much older than them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they gotta know who it is. And we're not talking about the original Terminator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. The fucking 80-something. Oh, yeah, that, that was... That's what I'm saying. Like, we're talking about uh, fucking pop-up girls. Everybody know about them. Yes. But listen, the bottom line is this. Mm -hmm. The way that you guys are doing this right now, there, there's only one way for this league to go, and it's up. 
because these guys are governing themselves. Mm-hmm. I, I look, Potato Head makes the decisions. I'm just a commish. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like Jerry Jones, like trying to oversee every goddamn thing. And I like that you have some guys who have just been there from like the beginning. Yes, yes. And, and they, that's what I'm saying. And Listen, they just continue to, but, to come back every time and do and do exactly. Their thing. Like and, it's not it's and, not and, too, and, too hard. And that's what I'm saying. Look, difficult. look, he should have caught this shit, man. If that was Calvin Johnson, he would have caught that. But listen, wow. the if you that was 14 incher. But like I said, the bottom line is this: I want him to take something away from it. As far as like, you know what I'm saying? You don't gotta quit at everything. I know it's a video game, and you don't get frustrated. But sit through your ass bits because you can't quit on life. Exactly. And that's what I'm trying to teach you guys. And if you guys stick with me. You, you're going to be better as men overall. That, that's all I'm saying. So I just like to say thank you to the guys that are within there that are, are governing themselves, watching over what everybody's doing, because you just make it better. For, you make everybody else want to be a part of the league. And okay. I just wanted to say thank you to all you guys from OU Wants and to everybody like that. You know what I'm saying? And we have other guys that want to rejoin, but right now they can't because I'm still opening up. I think we have five more spots. But like I said, I, I'm just the commissioner. I have, I have self-esteem, so I don't need to be involved in everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't need to, like, Potato Head, yo, whatever, you know, yo, pot- do this. But Potato Head will tell you, he runs the league. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But And that's what I, yeah, yeah, you know, pretty much, that's what, that, that's where it comes into the whole thing about, like, like, bullying and things like that. Because you have guys, bullies, are, bullies lack self-confidence and self-control. Yes, they do. Okay. Now, that's why these guys that are in this league are so comfortable with me. Like, I don't talk to everybody. Most of the time, if you, you know, you message me, I don't really respond because... My commit, my, my CEO deals with that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You talk to Potato Head. Potato Head makes the decisions. For How instance, many O's was that? He has like 15 O's. Got it. But the bottom line is, if there's a problem, Potato Head deals with it. Mm-hmm. I'm not, you know, I'm not overriding him. That's his position. As this grows, so does his position. You know what I'm saying? And whether we try to branch it out or whatever like that. But as long as you give me no reason to, to, to not trust you, I have no problem with it. But yeah, you wanted to talk about, you know, as far as like. The bullying aspect of everything. We know that girl just committed suicide or something like that recently, whatever like that. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Okay. This is what the problem is. I, I we, we had an incident earlier. You know what I'm saying? With the school or whatever like that. I, I start to think now that the schools have a big part of why this shit is able to go on. Well, I will say in the school's defense. Go ahead. They are constantly being attacked. Instead of parents working with them and instead of parents being advocate for their kids... They send their kids to school with no training. Yes. And then when the school tries to implement something and they try to be fair, then the parents want to attack and get lawyers and sue. Yes. So the school now trying to protect their jobs, protect their business, protect their brand, they have to implement all of this crap in order to protect themselves. And so they can't focus on the kids anymore. No, no, way, I, the way yeah, it yeah. Used to be. Listen, listen, I understand what they, you're saying. They have to protect I, I, themselves. I understand first. what you're saying, and but it's the, pro- the problem that I have. Mm-hmm. Is if somebody provokes another child and there are witnesses that the, the other child provoked that kid to defend himself, mm-hmm. I don't think that the child that defend themselves should have any punishment. Yeah. No, no. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. Well, when, when I say any punishment, I'm saying, listen, if a child is that bold to attack another kid in front of everybody and show that they're trying to be a bully, in this day and age where everybody's recording on their iPhone or whatever, we know Sharkeisha, mm-hmm. she fucking... Karate slap some bitch. Well, not bitch. It's a young girl. So a child. Mm-hmm. I only call uh, adult women, you know, bitches. As you. As yes. you. Yeah, I call yes. you a bitch. Yes. Okay. The bottom line is this. I'm going to tell you this right now. The reason that I say the child should not be punished is because based on the child's record, if the child has a record of like, you know, continuous runnings and stuff like that, I'm talking about a straight shooter, straight shooter kid. Go to school, do their work. There's no track record. I like the fact that a child can be educated and defend themselves. I like that personally. Because it kind of, if the children continue to do that, bullies will eventually become a myth. Because if you can be a nerd and knock somebody the fuck out, they won't really have anybody to attack. It's like, just because they know, because remember, bullies kind of seek out their targets. Mm -hmm. And they, oh, that person looks kind of soft. I could do that with that person. Mm -hmm. So if the school now says, okay, I know you're a straight A student. What the hell is that noise? Turn that shit off and get away from there. If a person now says, okay, I understand that you're a straight-A student, but you, after being provoked, you punched her too many times or you punched him too many times. I understand that there's a limit, but you got to take into account that this kid was not the person that was asking for violence to occur to them. 
And if you go to a kid, say so, okay. Look, this. Can, can I play devil's advocate real quick? Okay, go ahead. Cause I, I gotta, from, I gotta get on Paula Dean too. From the school's point of view. Yes. And I worked at a school. Okay. What'll happen is, yes, that child was provoked. Yes, that child has a great track record. Yes. But there has to be some type of consequence. Okay, I not see that. an equal consequence, not at all. But there has to be some type of consequence because that because of those witnesses. Because now, if the kids see. If that she has nothing happen to her, they'll do it. It'll it, it'll, it it'll kind of like idolizes the situation, even and, though and she even, was defending herself. And, yes, and even that kid, because each individual kid is different. Even yeah. that kid will say, "Oh, this happened," but because I but didn't the parenting start it, has to stop that. The parenting has to stop that to let exactly, them know you did the right thing, but exactly. don't exactly you don't but want to continue to do from that. From the school's point of view, okay. Just like when you're at work, there should be like a verbal warning or whatever. Yeah, you gotta yeah, got talk you. to the kid. Maybe the guidance counselor comes out. There has to be some action taken, okay. Especially with the new laws that are out th- to prevent bullying, there has to be action taken on both parts. So okay. You don't treat both kids equally. No, I and agree with that. That's where the parents have to step up. Okay, and I, I, I like like I said, I'm glad. I just wanted to touch briefly on that. Um, as far as that, but I'll I'll go into that you know possibly on a po- uh, your podcast. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to talk about Paula Dean with a party that she had. Um, that I that, you know I know she had it a while ago where she had you know Afro Americans dressed up as slaves and she brought it back to the eighteen hundreds. I love Paula Dean. You know why? Because she don't give a fuck. Why and you, are you bring that up now? What happened? No, because I was I was I was talking to a friend earlier, mm-hmm. and he was saying he was like, yo. You heard about that party that she had where it was at eighteen hundred and she had she had Afro Americans dressed up as slaves yeah. and they had a the whole little bow tie, all that kind of shit going on. He said if he would have been invited to the party, he would have open hand slapped the uh, the Afro Americans at the door. So I said, listen, exactly. okay, but but what I said is this, but what I said is this, they're getting paid to do it. Listen, she has these people around her, and even when she was accused of being a prejudiced person, it was a Caucasian person that brought that to the people's attention. It always is because it they, always is. People that, always get mad. African Americans. It's always the Caucasian people that that accuse people of being racist. But that's what I want to say. It's always the Caucasian person saving the fucking the low life Afro American. Uh, Allah is in twist. Though. Allah. So, what's his name? Allah. What? What is that movie? Akbar? The Blind Side. Was Sandra Bullock saving another person? Or like, listen. But, but nope, nope. That actually happened. So you, I, you can't put But that's that, what I'm saying. They're always saving an Afro-American. But what I'm saying the is... The little skinny Caucasian woman is always saving an Afro-American. But that legit happened. All I understand, but... All those movies are just, just okay, movies. Okay, I understand that the movies. We gotta happened. talk about the movies in another video. We're gonna go down every stupid-ass slave movie that needs to just stop. But... Right now, I'm just saying, but I see, love I Paula Dean. Paula Dean don't give a fuck. Exactly. Because she'll fucking be a prejudiced bitch all the time. I like people for who they are. I could still be her exactly. friend. Exactly. I have, I have people that I hang around with that I know are fucking prejudiced. Exactly. But, but, but they you know, know that I... You stand exactly. with Exactly. Exactly. They're not doing it behind your back. They're up front with it. They're up front with it. They're like, no. to you. Exactly. I'm not really prejudiced. They come to me with, with fucking... Pineapple, watermelon in the car as I'm coming in. Like if we about to go chill, like they got what fried they chicken, coconut and pineapple. Yo, everything. But like I said, I appreciate when a person is up front with me. Fried chicken is good though. Fried chicken is some good shit. Yes. Yeah, no, no, no. Good. We're gonna stop this now. Fried chicken is some good fried shit. Fried chicken is really no, good. No, fried chicken. Is re- listen, if they give me fried chicken, I can't be mad at that. No, no. Listen, listen, really listen, listen. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'll I'll sit there and argue all day long. Mm-hmm. But you'll eat that. But I eat that goddamn fried chicken. But I eat that. I will eat that goddamn fried chicken. Exactly. But listen, that don't mean that 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 I meet the criteria. But no. I, but I go hard about I go hard about everything about oh you guys are trying to stereotype fried chicken you pull out some good fried chicken I'm gonna eat that shit <laughs> no no I'm serious I'm serious it's not a joke because fried chicken is I'm good I'm not gonna go ham on okay. watermelon but listen before I get to that chicken? I wanted to touch on something else oh my god you just touching all over Mike Shanahan oh my god is is a slave owner either in this lifetime or the next Mike Shanahan not, listen. Not- not, he, not previous. He may not bought. Next listen, listen, listen. Be not he may not slave. have bought and or sold the slave within the past two months. Uh huh. But he's a, but his he fa- but his family is involved in slave trade. I'm gonna tell you what why. What are you talking about? Listen, he's a good old boy. Listen, to what I'm trying to tell you. I'm gonna tell you why. Robert is being benched right now, Bob. Bob. I've never heard since I've been watching football that a starter is being benched for their health for the next season. One second. One second before you start blabbering off. RG3's numbers are not that bad for most games, okay? okay? RG3, who was all in... Well, not RG3. I'm sorry, RG3 and 10, who was all in for week one. He got caught up with his ego. I understand that he's young. He really thought he could do it. He wasn't all the way healthy. But you didn't let him play in the preseason when he was jogging around and being a dick. 
So you restricted him from like games that didn't count. Throw him into the fire when the games count. And then when he get burned. Now, now I gotta take him now out. Now I gotta take him out. Okay, when the season's lost. So that's the problem that I have with Mike Shanahan. And I continuously say this. I believe that Mike Shanahan is trying to get fired, but I also believe that John Elway and Terrell Davis made his career. He's not a genius. Mm-hmm. Listen, there's certain people that are genius. Albert Einstein, Seth MacFarlane, Aaron Magruder. They're geniuses in their own right. When you talk about a football genius, listen, and I give guys credit. Bill Belichick, Bill Belichick. he's a genius. Yes, yes he is. I don't even consider a lot of these other coaches. Because you know why I can say Bill Belichick is a genius? Because I've actually seen his adjustments, even without the Spygate scandal. And how he adjusts to everything that goes on and makes things work by just seeing it. And knowing how to beat people. You're talking about a man that continuously manipulated one of the greatest football minds in NFL history in Peyton Manning. On a regular basis. And had a last pick Tom Brady outdo him. That's a that's a guy that deserves credit. Yes. I don't give Phil Jackson as much credit because you had too much talent. Yeah. I remember there was a time where Tom Brady was throwing the receivers. I didn't even know where the fuck they were coming from. They, they were like guys that were selling shit at the deli outside in the front. Mm-hmm. And he was just throwing touchdowns. I remember there was a time like that. The one time that they gave him Randy Moss, they go 16-0 but lose to the Giants. One thing the that- one time he got a weapon, Tom Brady, that was really, really electric. Mm-hmm. I'm just letting you know that. If Randy Moss would have shut the fuck up, about his family, the Bo- Boston would have been shitting on this league to this day. Yeah, because they could have won in both baseball and they, football. They would have been shitting on the... And that's what I'm saying. That's why... That's, that, going back again, this is why I'm frustrated with Afro-Americans. Randy Moss... What if their head is shaved? Then they're, they, they are bald head Afro-Americans. Got it. Okay. Why are you going on the stand and speaking publicly and saying that you, you got to take care of your family? Why? You, you're an NFL athlete hey, you know that's what? being paid... Who- Exactly. Like, like, like you shut can't, up. You can't talk to the regular person. That's what I'm saying. The regular fan and talk about feeding your family that, when I got to I gotta take out a second mortgage in order to pay for a ticket to see a dumbass, to pay your salary. You do? You, you are pay, you kidding you, me? You should got a second mortgage? I'm just saying oh. that these damn things are expensive. Okay, I don't know I don't know where you're going with it. That I'm just exactly... Latrell, Latrell Sprewell. Latrell Sprewell said I that... I got to feed my family. You got to feed his family. But what did they eat? Was gold four, turkey? It was Are you $40 million. Me? It was kind of ridiculous contract. He's like, I got to feed my family. Well, that nigga probably works at fucking Best Buy right now. Latrell Sprewell. Yo, people Listen, are dumb. No, it's not people. Afro-Americans. They seem to be the ones... Like I said, and I, that's why I'm an advocate for trying to raise them up. You see, like, all these guys... And that's why, going back to your Paula Dean thing... I love her. You, just because someone's offering you money to do something... Okay. When you are... An African American specifically. Uh-huh. If you have an Afro and you're American specifically, yes. you can't just take any job. Yes. Because it reflects too much on the people at large. And everyone, every single African American person who lives in Afro. this country needs to take some responsibility with their own actions. So you're saying they shouldn't cool? For the people. No, they shouldn't cool. So I don't you, care so, how much money So they you don't do. support Tyler Perry? I have to come back to that. Okay, because I'm going to tell you right now, Tyler Perry does do a lot of good. He fucks the actors that are men, but he does a lot of good for for, for Afro-American actors. I don't think that that's cooning because... Because he's fucking them. No, that has nothing to do with it. If they give you the butthole, you got to take it. You got to take the butthole. But I don't think that that's cooning. Turkey okay. balls. He call me, yeah, he calls me all kind of different kind of balls. I don't know. This guy right here, he might be a homosexual. MP Mojo Jojo. Wow. But the game is coming to an end. Guys, I'm gonna, I, I think I should probably do a podcast for you guys. But I don't know what I'm talking about. That's the problem. But besides the point, I just wanted to tell you guys. I, no, I said I don't know what I'm going to talk about. But we, we just touched on so many topics. I don't even know what to name this video. Mm-hmm. But either way, guys, I'm going to see you guys next time. I thank everybody that's in the league right now. We got five spots open. Until next time, one love.